Hey everybody, it's Chucker Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we explored half of the derelict factory, not finding the power switch to activate the protodome again, but it's okay, Robo, it's okay. We'll get you there and you can be a helpful boy. We got information that'll help us in finding the switch from the factory half of the factory. The other half is the lab, it makes sense. This time, now that we've gone through half of the derelict factory, it's time to go through the other half. We checked this monitor, fought some enemies, and this hatch door opened, revealing the pathway inside. Okay, now we can get down to the meat of what we want to do. You are an alkali. These have near-perfect defense and only nine HP. They counter elemental attacks with a chemical reaction, as we've seen already. And pretty much any kind of magical attack will deal with them really quickly. Chrono's Wind Slash is what I prefer, just because it comes out quickly. It doesn't cause the chemical reaction. It's just nice, quick, and easy. I don't like their names, however. This is one point that I'll give to the Super Nintendo translation. Its original name was just Alkaline. And I feel like that name worked fine. It instantly tells you what it's supposed to be. That it is an enemy that will have a chemical reaction to things like fire. It was a nice, simple name that got the concept across immediately. And I think that's better than you know, kind of giving it a Kiraga sounding name, you know, where it's not immediately obvious upon reading it in one second what it is. And I certainly realized it a little bit too late the first time that I fought it, and I repeat playthroughs whenever I just didn't really remember the enemy that well. Wind Slash? I'm not sure if I want to really use either of your magics on it. I think I'll wait for Krona to just come around again. It's not like it attacks all that fast, really. It's just kind of sitting around being like, ooh, look at me, I'm a puddle. Life's fun being a puddle. Don't you believe me? Yeah, it's fun. Just try it yourselves. Oh wait, you can't, because you can't be a puddle. Hammer arm, all right. Looking forward to this one. Robo just got even stronger. 44 attack now. And nice, the hammer arm doesn't even lower his speed. Do your mating call, Robo. All systems down, defense lasers deactivated. Unfortunately, they had a goop security system that we could not dispatch with machinery. Uh, we'll do three. And I guess you can laser spin. It's not that big of a deal if it counters. We are at full health, and we've been just blasting through everything as it is, so why not? Go for it. <laughs> oh, that's what I get. <laughs> that's what I get for just saying screw it, and this isn't gonna do, no. Chemical reaction again, ouch. <laughs> this is why I like Chrono's Wind Slash. I shouldn't deviate from what I know works just to try new things, saying, ah, oh, well, probably won't be that big a deal, whatever. We got two of them in one go, though. Good timing for me for the first time ever. You never realize how hard it is to, like, time really precise things in games until you're talking over it, and you also can't hear the audio well because your own voice is so booming, even though that's a very me problem. Titanium Vest, that's what Robo came with, so I'm very happy to have that in other people. Iron suit, can that go? Yes it can, it is gender neutral. Uh, Chrono's got 68 defense. He does kind of end up getting hit by attacks a lot, so I think I would prefer to have that on him and just have Luca be a little squishier. I think I'll go with that. With Robo opening the way forward, we'll go down again. Uh, we'll go down. I should mention that there was an option to go down again on that first elevator after we used it once. It would have taken you into the room with the computer terminal that we were just in right now, if you were wondering where that connected to. Just to kind of help you paint that. There is also a hatch in here. I believe this is where it lets you down, right about here. You know what, how about I just show you? Sorry, I think I said option to go down. I meant option to go up. <laughs> Back down on basement third floor, which is how everybody seems to want to write it. I find out that's a common thing in Europe, but not really anywhere else, which is why me as an American thinks it's really weird. Plasma gun, hello, yes. This is the other big reason why I prefer bringing Luca on this part over Marl. Not only does Robo have a healing tech, but oh, the plasma gun. May inflict stop on robots. 
We haven't seen stop yet. We've only seen slow. True to its name, it makes his other turns just don't come around for a while. It's lovely, and I can't wait to show it. Zabby door lock system operational. Please enter Pasca. It was not accepting inputs when I thought it was. So it's really Azabi. Okay. I guess you could argue the other area is not optional. I think you can input that without knowing it, unlike the other password that I told you that you needed. Emergency! The security system has gone haywire! We must escape immediately! That is our cue to change around our equipment! This is a cool trick with some equipment that I was not aware of prior. I think maybe... yeah, Chrono. I'm gonna give you the Berserker Ring. Luca... you can... Eh, I'll keep you as you are. I kinda like the Rage... Oh, no, I do want the Rage Band. It's just so good. I, would, I just don't want to be without it, because it feels so awesome just getting free damage every other second. Hurry, before it is too late! Get it out of there. Emergency alert status. Elevators disabled, as they should be during an emergency. I appreciate your forward thinking there, Lab, except for the people that were happened to be on the elevators at the time of the emergency. We have no choice but to just walk out, limiting our escape options. Wait, these... these are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y, it is good to see you again. What are you doing? You are defective. You are not one of us. Pardon? I am malfunctioning. Affirmative. A defect. I am a defect. Have you forgotten our assigned task? All intruders must be eliminated. That was the reason for my creation? You disgrace our series. You must be destroyed. No, no, stop! D do not harm them, please. These robots are my brothers. Please stop. Please. shall eliminate the intruders. No! I think the intruders will eliminate you! Oh, would have made so much sense for Luca to be the one going berserk here. So Chrono cannot be controlled, but we have six enemies to deal with, and they all hit like trucks. They are essentially robos. They have his punching attack, and they can do some other things as well. But they don't really feel like doing that. They just want to run up and punch us in the face, because... As we've seen, that's pretty in line with whoever gave them their objective. Uh, mid potion chrono while you're at it. There we go. Good, perfect heal, perfect heal. I have so many potions from the Johnny races there. This is such a good use of this ability. Berserk is normally really bad, and I've always said that it feels hollow, but this fight is normally very slow if you just go into it straight. You can use some text to spread some damage around, like I just did right there, but for the most part, you're just kind of, whoa! Uh, being a bad high school joke that people made about short kids and being the ball in football. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 
Well, it's a dual tech that hurts both of you. And there we go. There is a wired punch that is essentially the same as Robo's normal rocket punch. Took a bit of damage there, but we're just dishing out the damage like nobody's business. 151. Defect my ass, by the way. They also have a laser attack, but it is not able to hit an entire room of enemies like Robo's is. It's merely a single target. I'd say ours is superior, but we already need that. Robo! I see him. He got stuck. They really thrashed him. I'm not sure I can fix this. Let's get him back to the protodome for now. Can you fix me? Shh, don't try to talk. You are trying to change the world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what do you want to do after I finish repairing you? What do I want to do? Yeah, I mean, you were stuck here all this time. There must be a lot of things you want to do, right? No one has ever asked me that before, Luca. Good morning. Robo, thank goodness you're all right. Luca, you're incredible. Well, let's hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I have arrived at an answer to your question. I want to go with you. Really? You mean it? There is nothing left for me here. I want to help you. Together, we might be able to give the life on this planet a chance. Then let's go. The gate's right through there. Here we go. Where are we? Drifters. Drifters? Where are we? It is not a question of where, my friends, so much as when. This is the end of time. Travelers lost in time's flow turn up here, much like driftwood on a beach. Might I ask where you're from? We're from 1000 AD. I come from the year 2300 AD. When four or more entities of varying origins enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time's flow pushes them to the point of least resistance. Here. There have been a number of folks turning up here unintended recently, like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here? Alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? But not to worry. For all its desolation, it is well connected. There are roads here to any time you could ever wish to visit. Should you so desire, you can call upon your friends at any time. But you can never travel in groups of more than three. One of us must remain. Who will it be, Chrono? This place is the best party swap menu ever. We haven't gotten much time with Robo, and Luca just got to go on adventure, so she can sit this one out. Don't you get any ideas because it's just the two of us, mister? Well, that is the way of things. Don't say that. Should you desire to switch party members, you can do so via the main menu whenever you wish. How do we get back to our own time? You saw the pillars of light when you arrived, yes? 
Each connects this place to a different era. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press the A button, and you will return to the gate. But beware the gate connected to that bucket. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we see everything this strange place is. See you guys then.